Hi guys, I'm Sandra and today we have this new model from Widow, the ME40. This model was on Kickstarter until just a few days ago. So, if you want to know all the details, stay tuned on our video. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, before we talk about all the new features of this new 3D printer, let's check what's inside the box. Inside the box and at the top, we can find the bottom half of the printer. Next, we have a spool of filament, a box with several items, and finally, the top half of the printer. Inside the small box, we can find several bags with items such as screws, a USB cable, a spatula, a cutter, a couple of printed parts, a power cord, parts for the spool holder, some components and a memory card, and several tools. Some of the bags have a label with the number of the step for the assembly, and some of the tools are even separated and inside the bag of the step where they will be needed. And this is everything that came inside the package. And this is the top half. All the blue parts are made from metal. The extruder on this one is a single geared one. There's also a filament runout sensor next to the extruder. At the right side we can see a belt tensioner for the X axis belt. And on the print head a couple of fans. One for layer cooling and one for cooling the hot end. There's also an inductive sensor for bed leveling. Together with the leveling sensor there's also an end stop at the top of the Z-axis. The lead screw comes not installed and was packed inside one of the vertical profiles. The hot end on this one is an all-metal with a bimetal heat brick and steel nozzle, making it capable of printing with many different filament types and at temperatures up to 300 degrees C. And this is the bottom half of the printer. It's equipped with a 300 by 300 magnetic print sheet and the bed runs on six wheels. At the front is the 4.3 inch touch display. At the right side is the memory card slot and the USB connector. At the left side is the on and off switch and the main power connector. All end stops are these mushroom type buttons, which have more durability when compared with the traditional lever ones. At the back of the main unit is the power supply voltage selector. To access the electronics, we need to remove the eight screws that secure the bottom panel. Inside we can find the power supply which is a 24 volts and 15 amp model, the back of the display and the main board. The board is equipped with a 32-bit GD32F103 microcontroller and a couple of TMC's 2208 drivers for the X and Y axis and three Allegro's A4988 for the Z and the extruder. The board is programmed to automatically run self-tests when turning the printer on, power down the printer when the print is finished and can do model preview on the display. To assemble it is super fast and simple. All we need to do is attach the top half on the base of the printer and secure it. Install the lead screw and connect all the cables. The main cable that goes from the base to the top half is this flat cable with the 20 pin connector. This solution not only makes the assemble easier and faster, but also helps to give a much cleaner cable management. So, the advertised main features of the Widow ME40 are the print volume, which is 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters, 
the all-metal hot end with bimetal heat break, which supports lots of different filament types and temperatures up to 300 degrees C. It's equipped with an inductive sensor for auto bed leveling. The magnetic steel print surface, a 4.3 inch touch screen with model preview, auto power down after finishing the print, automatic self tests every time we turn the printer on, faster speed, silent stepper drivers, and equipped with model and firmware. Now, are these features new and will they make this printer a good reason to buy? Don't miss our next video where we will show the assembly in more detail and also the full review. So stay tuned. And that's it you guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye.